Now we'll move to closing statements, beginning with Mrs. Zaytos. One minute closing statement. So one thing that I really love about Charlottesville is that we can disagree without being disagreeable, um, and that political rivals can talk civilly and learn from each other. I believe that Bob and I are the best choices for city council, but I really appreciate Mike and Buddy's willingness to step up and serve. Thanks for coming out tonight and to get informed about your choices for no the November election for city council. I hope you got the answers you needed to make your decision. If you want more information about my or Bob Fenwick's campaign, you can contact us or visit our website at seavildemsforcouncil.com. If you're interested in volunteering to help with our campaign, talk to us afterwards or sign up on the website. Bob and I have a commitment to opportunity, equity, and investment. We believe a community needs to provide opportunities to everyone to learn, to work, and to be safe. We believe in the need to invest in infrastructure, in programs, and in people. If you agree, please come out November 5th and vote for us. Thanks. Colonel Weber. I will tell you that I have been trying to recruit Mike Ferrigio to run for city council for at least four years. <coughs> he is a very, very dear friend of mine, been a dear friend for about 15 years. We're close family friends, and uh, I can't imagine a, a more qualified and, and more personable guy to run for city council than Mike Ferrigio, and I am proud to sit up here and, and not only call him my running mate, but to call him a dear friend. Uh, with that said, uh, most people here already know who I am and, and, and what I've done in my life. Uh, I've come here, I've answered your questions as, as honestly as I could, and I ask for your vote. I won't waste any more of your time. Thank you. Mr. Furge, yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, buddy. Um, it's an interesting story. I've been recruited, literally, um, for uh, over 10 years, people asking me to run for city council because they know my passion for the city. They know my passion for the people that live in the city. I fought for and protected the people in the city for 25 years, and I fought for and protected our neighborhood for 15 years. It's that dedication and passion that I'm going to bring to city council for the entire city if I do that. But the funny part was, when it came down to it, I was not sure if it was the right time. I kind of felt it was because I was retiring, and by chance, the, the difference in the pay was going to be made up by working on city council. But I went to Buddy, and I said, Buddy, you're the best person I know to run for city council. And Buddy said to me, then, Mike, I've decided to run for city council, but only if we do it together. I had already made my decision that that's the direction I was going to go, but that seemed like it was, a, uh, it was meant to be when Buddy shared that story with me. Look, I think you've seen the city for, for many, many years. You've seen the direction that it's going. What we need on city council is diversity. We need myself and Buddy Weber on council so that we can second a, nom second a decision for conversation and then the best three votes will monitor and make that decision the best it can be for the city of Charlottesville. Mr. Fenway. Well, as most of you know, I've run as a Democrat. I've run as an independent twice before. And I appreciate in this campaign running as a Democrat because I've got to know Kristen better. I appreciate what she's done for the city, and I appreciate the help she's given me as a rookie in party politics. Representing is more than allocating money, it's having a vision, not just for the present, but for the future. We have inherited a beautiful city, and my goal is to pass it on to future generations better than I found it, with a stable economic base, equal and adequate opportunity for all its citizens, and a truly representative local government that focuses on customer service. Representing is balancing competing interests, reaching a consensus, managing people, and solving problems. I will bring to City Council a practical, experienced eye on issues that are being decided, and I will do so civilly and with respect for differing views. Thank you. That concludes our city council forum. Please join me in thanking our candidates. <laughs>